Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, did you ever have a situation like this where in your data you were having zero values but your boss did not want those zero to be appearing in the chart? So, how can you go about creating this? Let me just delete this and let's get started. Select the data, go to insert and let's just insert some basic column chart like so. I'm going to expand it a bit. Do a bit of a formatting. I'm going to add data labels, get rid of the grid line. And let's come over here, increase this font size to 11, enter, make it bold. This format, I don't actually need it. I'm going to get rid of it, but I'm actually going to get rid of it by making the labels as none, like so. Increase the column width to 80 because I like them to be nice and broad. And I'm going to make the color as yellow, I like that. The data labels, I'm also going to increase the font size of that. Let's just make it 12. And also I'm going to fill it by having a light yellow and also going to make it inside base. Now, here comes the magical part of it. So let's go to number. And where you see general, just choose custom. And here, where you see the format code, here, I'm going to get rid of whatever is written in there. And the format code of Excel is always positive number, colon, negative number, and colon, zero. So, zero is how I want the positive number. Like, I want the positive numbers to be positive without any decimal, colon, minus zero. These are all for the formatting for the ne negative numbers. Colon, now for the zero part of it, I'm actually going to leave it blank. Click on add. Voila! That's the magic. All right. So let me know in the comments down below exactly what did you think of this tip and if there's any other challenge you face at the workplace. Again, post your questions down below and I would like to address them or at least try or attempt them. Okay. Stay tuned for more tips. Until next time, much love. God bless. Bye.